Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and I am the author of the blog CapturingWonderland.com. Today I've got a quick tutorial on how to DIY a simple drop cloth table runner. It's a super quick project, let's get into it. I'm going to show you how I created a creamy, classic, simple table runner out of drop cloth. I have these six beautiful vintage linen napkins and I wanted to use them in a tablescape. I've talked about the tablescape a couple of times, but if you're interested in seeing it, I'm going to go ahead and drop a card. You can go ahead and watch that video when you're done with this one. So vintage linen has this gorgeous creamy color and of all the table runners that I have, which is about four, every single one of them seemed to clash with the color. Typically, I don't just run to a store when I'm looking for something. Usually I'm patient and diligently dig and hunt for it at thrift stores. But this time I didn't have the time that I needed to be able to do that. And so I decided to go ahead and try my hand and making it. Drop cloth fabric can be farmhouse chic. Used to be when you said the word drop cloth, all you could imagine was construction sites and paint messes. But some genius discovered it's actually pretty awesome when bleached as an alternative to vintage feed sacks and even vintage linen. It's got all the feels and charm of vintage without the price tag that usually comes with those things. Let's get into the steps to sew a simple table runner. Small disclaimer here, I just wanna put it out there that I am not a professional seamstress at all. In fact, sewing machines sometimes really don't like me. I have experience using a sewing machine and I have sewed quite a few projects, but they are not perfect and I definitely don't know all of the correct sewing terms. So now that I've gotten that disclaimer out of the way, Let's get into step number one. Choose and or prepare your fabric of choice. In this case, I obviously chose and opted to use drop cloth as my fabric. I have an entire tutorial on how I bleached my drop cloth fabric to prepare for this project. I will put a card for that video here and you can watch it when this video is done. Step number two is to wash, dry, and iron. This is a pretty important step because it gives you a true idea of the real size of the fabric before you start making your cuts. It also makes it easier to start your seams in the next couple of steps. First, measure the length of your table and the width. and then decide how wide you would like your table runner to be. I chose to make mine three quarters of my table width. Second, I had to take into account how much I wanted to hang off of the edges of my table. I wanted mine to hang off about four to five inches so that there was a little bit of hanging but not enough to bother someone's legs when they sit at the table. Account for your seam allowances. Since drop cloth is thicker fabric, it was easier to work with making larger seams. Instead of half inch seams, mine were more like three quarters of an inch. After I had measured and done my math twice, remember the saying, measure twice, cut once. I started to cut into the fabric. Be intentional about using the pre-sewn edges. I was able to line my project up with two edges, which meant I only had two sides to sew instead of four. Since I decided to do a double fold hem to hide the raw edge, I multiplied my seams allowances by two, which meant a seam allowance of one and a half inches on every side that I was sewing. The reason why I decided to do a double fold hem is because drop cloth is well known for fraying after it is washed. So when you hide the raw edge, you eliminate that problem altogether. Fourth, ironing your seams to create a double fold hem. I 
eyeballed three quarter of an inch seam and I ironed all the way down on one side. And then I came back and ironed down the second fold. Ironing down the seams means you don't have to use pins if you don't want to, which eliminates an extra step. Here are some tips for sewing your table runner hems. First, I chose a thread that was actually meant specifically for upholstery, so it is much thicker, which eliminates a lot of the breakage that I was seeing with thinner string. I purchased my thread, which is Coates & Clark at Walmart, but I will leave a link in my blog post telling you exactly where you can get it online too. Second, when starting to sew, I actually started a little bit in, probably two or three inches into my project instead of starting right at the edge. The edges are much thicker and bulkier and so they're really hard to get to go through the machine as you work. So I chose to start in a little bit and then come back when I was done to finish off the edge. Third, to strengthen the stitch, when I start, I go forwards and then reverse and then forwards again. That way you get a little bit more stitching and it makes it a lot harder for it to just come undone. When sewing a quick project like this, I use a shortened stitch. On my brother machine, it's a number six and I keep the tension at four. Step number six is to do your finishing touches. Just trim off any 
loose threads, iron it a second time to make it really beautiful, and then enjoy your fresh, gorgeous, vintage linen inspired drop cloth table runner. Well friends, thank you so much for watching all the way through if you've made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and share it with friends if you think they would enjoy this content as well. Thank you again, bye.